Well, over in the community of Ty, the city council is now at a stalemate. With three vacant positions, not enough members to legally meet and even make decisions. This situation comes at a crucial time for the city as it is ready to set the budget for the next fiscal year. KTAB's Mariah Williams has heard about the plans and what it could mean for the citizens of Ty. Residents rely on their local government to implement change. But in Thai, that time is at a pause due to three vacancies. We've not been able to have our city council meetings. We have two uh, uh, council members and then we have three vacant positions. One position previously opened, plus two members resigning in June, makes it impossible for the council to function. We didn't have a quorum, uh, so we really can't, you, you can have meetings, but you can't have, uh, take care of any business. The mayor of Ty, Greg Treadwell, says while the situation seems chaotic, for Ty, it can be navigated. We're a smaller community, so uh, we don't have a lot of issues as a larger town. So the, uh, most of the stuff that, that we have going for this year was, was already approved. The stopping point comes during preliminary budget time when cities look at their funds for the new year. All city departments having no choice but to keep the same budget for the time being. We're just resetting what we had for the 23-24, for the 24-25, and then we may, when we do have a city council, maybe in 2025, or they will be able to amend the budget. Police Chief Christopher Sealander had the conversation with his staff. Last, or this actual fis fiscal year, 23-24, uh, the starting pay for police officers went up substantially from the city council. So, you know, they, they already know that there's no new raises coming or no cost of living raises coming. The council hoping to start back after a special election held in November. Reporting in Thai with coverage you can count on, I'm Mariah Williams, KTAP News. All right, thank you, Mariah. The city gathering signatures from residents to set a special election for November, hoping to fill at least two of those city council positions.